soup was insanely good for me. I like absolutely loved it. Um, it was just a wicked crowd, and I think I was worried since it was a Tuesday. You know, it might be a little bit turn, but I think at the end of it, everyone was. You can't ask Tame when you come to Liverpool. Was going, yeah. Was never Tame. <laughs> never ever Tame. Was Eric's just as? Eric's was or? actually was quite Tame. It wasn't. It's lively tonight. Really? Gross on my teeth. This was much better than Eric's for me, I think. I think because the album's out and people know the words, it makes a big difference. Exactly. That was beforehand. What I thought was strange is that um, in September, that was only when your album got released, wasn't it? So when you were talking about Bombay, obviously people didn't have anything to buy. Yeah, 100%. So are you really shocked at the reaction of how quickly it came out and well, yeah, the I'm, response? When, when I was signed to Columbia, because... It felt like I'd been touring for so long, and people have been hearing the same songs. I've been touring them for like two years, yeah. or something or a year. It just felt like as soon as we're signed, it was like I can't wait any longer. We've got to. I feel like it has to come out in September. I think yeah. Then they felt slightly rushed because mm. they only signed me a few months before the album was out. Yeah. But um, it seems to work out, you know. Yeah. Hopefully. Definitely. Right, I'll ask you from some weird stuff. And if anyone wants to join in, I'll be happy to hear your answers. <laughs> right. right, would you rather bang Donald Trump or David Dickinson? Bang? Would you, would would you, you rather bang, bang Donald Trump oh or David God. Dickinson? Come well, on. David Dickinson, definitely. Really? Donald Trump, bloody hell. Donald Trump's a bit of a knob, isn't he? I don't He's a bit of a knob. Well. Proper, maybe. I think bit of a little knob, to be honest. Comedy value. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite funny. He'd definitely be up for a giggle in bed. Because Donald Trump would be disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Would you rather piss while you st- piss every time you stand or shit every time you sit? Um, piss every time I stand, so I do the whole gig sitting. That could be awkward. Oh yeah, that could be awkward. Yeah. Um, would you rather drink two liters of sweat or two liters of saliva? It could be your own. It could be your own. Two liters of saliva, if it's man. Yeah. Um, would you rather sleep in a bed of worms or bathe in a tub of fire ants? Sleep in a bed of worms. They're harmless, aren't they? Fire ants gonna fuck you. But you have to absolutely like proper sleep, deep sleep, like dreaming. Or bathe. So what? Why would you just decide not to have a bath ever again? Who's to, who's making you do this stuff? Oh, this is would all off my own bath. Can't. I'm I'm my own name. <laughs> I'm telling you. Would you rather, Jerry? Just would you rather? Oh, right. Yeah. Can't, can't beat some, would you rather, really? Oh, right. um, would you rather have a penis as a girl or a vagina as a boy? I've, been th- I've already thought about this one a lot. Um, <laughs> penis and a girl, I think. Because if you're a boy with a vagina, that's fucking difficult. You couldn't really get anywhere, really, could you? Because if you're, you're a, a girl with a penis, I think some people are into that. Yeah, that's true. Um, and would you still be a girl. Yeah. Would you rather be belly tickled by Christopher Biggins or Louis Spence? Like like proper laughable stuff. That that could be quite funny. Probably Christopher Biggins, because he's got a fun laugh. He's a bit of a tit though. He's a bit of a tit. He's a bit of a tit. He's a bit of a tit, but so is Louis Spence, surely. Yeah, but Louis Spence is he can do the splits. Wins it, <laughs> it wins it true. wins it for me, wins it for me, and he's a guy. <laughs> Would you rather have a pigeon slap you or have Ooh, a duck boot you? Pigeon slap me. Or have a duck boot ya. Yeah. Or a duck, a duck do what? Kick yeah. me. Yeah. I don't think a duck was going to do much damage if it kicked me. But a pigeon in the face. It's scratchy, isn't it? Yeah, I have a, a duck I almost boot. got slapped by a pigeon in the face earlier. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just ducked. <laughs> Pigeons and they're full of gruesome. Literally a pigeon went for behind. Seriously went for him. <laughs> um, the reason I asked that question. What is your favourite instrument to play? Yeah, the Favourite city to play? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, really? So I love the space is. for it. So. Brilliant. Um, your favourite childhood TV show? Yeah. Favourite childhood TV show? Um, Toxie and Tim. Oh, that's a good one. Lovely, lovely. Um, be stuck in a chicken's arse or a Santa's arse? Santa's. Really full on human human ass. Chicken's ass. Maybe Santa's ass. You don't live in anyone's ass. Yeah, so I suppose. He's got a good one, I'm sure. And would you <laughs> and would you get bigger Would you let someone double dip your salsa? All secret meanings included. Double dip. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.
She's double dipping. Oh, you're double dip. <laughs> <laughs> She's double dip. That's a great question. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to that. Would I let someone double dip my tassel? Depends who the somebody is, really. Judging by the tail. If it was Sorry. a repulsive person, then no. If it was someone I liked, I'd let them double dip my tassel. That's brilliant. This is all very euphemistic. Uh, right. Have you got a spare hand on me? Not really, but I can just... Just come out so it's just sort of touring it as much as we can and getting as many people to hear it, I suppose. Is there any more plans for festivals, anything like that coming up? Obviously, you might not be able to say a lot, but... Um, I'm going to Hong Kong. This this tour finishes on the 27th, and then me and my boyfriend are going to Hong Kong um, for 12 days, which I'm literally oh. is like the only thing that I'm looking forward to. Oh, no, I'm looking forward to all of it. I'm just looking forward to it. We've got a gig in Hong Kong, and um, I've got a gig. So I'm just doing them acoustically, one in Shanghai and one in Beijing with LJ. Oh. So it should be really fun. And then we have like four days in Beijing. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. I noticed that you were also at Leeds Festival this year, seeing you at Leeds. And um, you were on before LJ as well. Yeah. And then how was that whole experience for Leeds? Because obviously they've just won the Maker Prize. That's and... mad. I'm like <laughs> chatting to them beforehand. They're like really cool. And like, you know, and now they just won the Mercury Prize and they're huge. And yeah. It's all, it's all going really well. So I'm, I'm excited to have a catch up with them and sort of say how things are going. And, and congratulate them on their amazing album and success. Of course. So it should be, it should be, should be bloody fun. Should we, raise? That is brilliant. Got everything. Right. Do you need a hand? Or